Evening up Art Bedsoul. And I'm Heather Skold. Thanks for making us your choice for your news at 10 o'clock. It's a video that can be tough to watch. A Colorado Springs woman just walking along the sidewalk when she suddenly falls into a storm drain. Tonight she's reaching out to us saying the city still hasn't responded to her requests to fill the loose manhole cover. Cardio News Channel 13, Spencer Soyser joins us from Trailmark Loop and West Nulty Drive where that storm drain is located. Spencer. Yeah, Bart and Heather, you can see it's still loose here tonight, and there are some marks of paint that show that maybe there was some sort of work being done in this area. But the woman who fell in this hole told me she's frustrated that it's been four days and that nothing's been done about this and that it could possibly happen to somebody else. Holy moly, Sarah Brown is still in a lot of pain. I put my right foot onto it and I fell into the hole. And my right leg went completely into the hole and my left leg like kind of jacked and caught on the lip of it. That incident resulting in a trip to the emergency room. On Sunday, she was walking through her mother's neighborhood and fell into a storm drain with a loose cover. I have hurt my left shin. I've got sores on my shoulders. I have got abrasions all over my left thigh and calf. Brown, who's already handicapped, said she called the city that night to report the problem, not wanting anyone else to get hurt like she did. She even recorded the call. I was okay, walking perfect. and I stepped on it and I fell through it. The representative on the other end of that call said they took down the information. Told me that but Brown was... says nobody came to fix it, and so she called it again. Delayed. Four days later at the time of our interview, it was still a looming hazard. I can't imagine another child or somebody else coming by and having this happen to them. It's a very real worry for Brown. Just up the street is a school and wildflower park. In fact, during our interview, we saw plenty of kids walking by. As deep as this hole is, if a kid comes over here and it happens, they're gonna go right to the bottom and they can sustain more damage than what I did. The city did tell me today that they have received this claim and they're looking into it. In the meantime, Brown told me that she's hired an attorney and does plan to sue. She says she's never going to walk over one of these manholes ever again. Reporting live in Colorado Springs tonight, I'm Spencer Soyser for KRDO News Channel 13. Hard to blame her for that. Spencer, thanks.